Um, Mark, the um, incidence of COVID in Wales is higher than in England at the moment. Why is that? Well, it may, paradoxically, because of the success of our vaccination programme, because we managed to reach a larger percentage of our population earlier than in other parts of the UK. And it may be that waning immunity is beginning to hit us in Wales sooner as a result. So, so, also, so, how, is the, so how is the booster programme going? Booster programme is going on track. So we have now completed boosters in two thirds of all our care homes in Wales. We'll complete that by the end of the month. We are seeing, in contrast to the initial, boost, uh, initial vaccine campaign, a few more people not quite so keen to come forward, uh, looking to rearrange their appointments, prioritising other things in their lives over the booster itself. So we make the same appeal to people here in Wales. If you're invited, if you're offered a chance to have the booster, please make this your priority. You will be helping yourself and you'll be helping everybody else as well. Now, one of the things that's um, striking to people in England is that you already have in Wales what Boris Johnson calls his plan B, mask wearing in, in public places, the use of vaccine certificates and encouragement to work from home. But you have got this higher level of COVID infections. What, what do you think that tells us about the effectiveness of those measures? Some would say it shows they're not very effective. No, I don't think that will be fair. Our COVID pass, for example, has only been in operation for the last week. Uh, I hope the Prime Minister will move to Plan B. It would certainly help us here in Wales to have a consistent message across the border, mask wearing, in crowded indoor places or on public transport in Wales, it's a must. It's not a request, it's mandatory. I think that will be important to have everywhere because that reinforces the message. That simple measure helps to protect us all. Equally working from home, Sage says that's the single most significant measure you can take. So we say to people in Wales, wherever you can, you should work from home, it helps to stop mixing, it cuts down on the opportunities for the virus. And if that was a message across the border as well, again, it would reinforce that message for us all. So in the face of the numbers that we are seeing, we all need to do what SAGE has advised us, to act early, to take those simple measures that collectively add up to raising the defences uh, against this cruel virus, and there's more that we can do well short of the sorts of draconian measures sure. we were all obliged to take last winter. And can I just ask you, therefore, on a couple of questions? I mean, Sajid Javid said this afternoon that, you know, he didn't think at the moment uh, the NHS was close to not being able to cope. Was he being too optimistic? How much pressure is there on hospitals in Wales? Well, there's huge pressure on the health service in Wales, as there is across the United Kingdom. Vaccination it continues to be a very successful defence against people being so ill from coronavirus that they end up in hospital. Mm. But hospitals are dealing with everything else that we ask them to do. Huge emergency pressures, trying to catch up on the backlog of all the other things that they weren't able to do at the height of the pandemic. In primary care, trying to deliver the flu vaccination programme as well. The fact that there isn't as much coronavirus in hospital is not the same as it was last year when the health service wasn't dealing with everything else sure. it's having to deal with now. And so just to be clear, um, how big is the risk that you will feel obliged to introduce other measures? We don't have to call it lockdown, but there are other measures you can take that will still restrict people's lives short of lockdown. Well, at this stage, we think we have not exhausted the defence we can get from the measures we already have in place. There's more that we can extract from them. And persuading people to come forward rapidly mm. for the booster vaccination programme is certainly part of that. Were the position to deteriorate, were we to see something unexpected, like a new variant, for example, or if vaccine immunity was to wane even more quickly than we are expecting, then we never rule out in Wales having to take other measures that will protect the health of the public. We don't expect to have to go back 
to the sort of intrusive measures we were obliged to take last year. Oh. But week by week, we keep on top of the numbers, calibrate them against the measures we can take. And if we need to do more, more will be done. I mean, presumably, it's not the same as full lockdown. I mean, you could oblige people to work from home rather than recommend it. Well, we will work with our public services and with our private businesses in Wales. Uh, in Wales, the rules are that you should work from home if you can do. But there's more we can get out of that as well. Even in, in the Welsh Government, hmm. we have more people back in the office today than we would have had even six weeks ago, and we're reviewing that at the moment. There's more to be extracted from the simple measures that SAGE has advocated before we need to move on to thinking of other things. Mark Drayford, so good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we'd love to see you again soon. I'm now delighted.